Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to learn about another framework, I would say. The framework's name is Dozer. It's not a normal framework like your Struts, Spring or your Hibernate, which provide you a lot more features. Dozer is a mapping framework. Now what we mean by mapping framework, as you can see here, that Dozer is a Java bean to bean mapper. Means using this uh, mapping framework which is called dozer what we can do is uh, we can map to bean class objects to each other all right we normally or you can say most of the times we encounter scenarios where we have to map bean class objects so let's study more in detail uh, to understand this mapping concept and why do we actually need dozer in our projects now if you see this uh, customer entity object that I have taken for reference here that it is having name and account number two properties and uh, customer DTO uh, name and having name and account number as the two properties. Now uh, if you see uh, when you have to return some data to UI or when you get some data as an input from UI right you do not uh, get them in your entity class objects so what you use is your DTOs or you can say your data transfer objects right the field names in your DTO may be different than uh, your uh, entity class objects or it may be same as well you can keep it same as well right now uh, another thing is that uh, most of the times in our applications or almost always I would say that we have to get uh, the entity class objects from the database and then we have to convert those objects into DTOs and return the DTOs to the UI let's say and if you consider the reverse scenario that you get input from the UI in form of DTOs and while saving to the database you convert those DTOs to entities right so it's a sample code that I have written here that if you have a get customer uh, method which is returning a customer DTO so you ask the customer DAO that get me the customer you get the entity class object and then you have uh, uh, your DTO object creation and then corresponding setter methods are invoked right here uh, we have only two properties right suppose we have 20 or maybe 30 properties right so see the code uh, the number of lines of code that you'll have to write right so you'll have to write a lot of lines of code to just to convert your entity to DTO or your DTO to entity right so this conversion what if someone does for us automatically right so you save a lot many number of lines of code by the conversion right so dozer is helpful for us in these scenarios let's see more that uh, when do we actually need object mappings in our projects or applications or you can say when are parallel object hierarchies needed right first is integration with external code I think uh, Mm, uh, almost everyone uh, must have integrated their applications with some external application or your external system now uh, when you have to uh, you can say send the data to external system or get some data from uh, your external system and save it to your own system in that case you have to map that external object to your own object right so in that case you will need object mapping right so integration with external code is the first thing where we uh, need the object mappings so what we need here is a mapping framework which can serve as a bridge between your application and the external applications right second is second thing is serialization now some frameworks do have their own serialization constraints like we have mentioned here GWT framework 
restricts the developer to sending only objects compiled to JavaScript and mark them as serializable. Right? So you will have to convert those uh, objects into some uh, representation which you can send to the UI or you can say to the presentation layer, right? So in that case, when such constraints are there, so you will definitely, definitely need object mappings, right? So this is second possible scenario. And third, I think if uh, you see uh, the framework of REST, REST principles, if you have seen my video, REST also states that you uh, have different layers in your application and uh, Almost, I think every application is uh, based on layer architecture. You have DAO layer, you have service layer, right? You have presentation layers. So the representation of same object can be different across different layers. Let me repeat. The same object can be represented in different ways across your different layers, right? So in that case, you'll have to map those objects right so that they can be accessible uh, across your different layers let me put it in this way that in complex enterprise application right it's often valuable to separate design to several architecture layers that's absolutely fine and each of these layers this is the point each of these layers could have its own set of java beans that represent the data which is relevant for this layer right so the deep the representations of your java beans can be different across different layers so in that case you will definitely need a mapping framework all right so these are some scenarios where mapping framework is needed and it's really helpful the thing which we have been given dozer so let's see uh, Dozer is an open source mapping framework. All right, so we don't have to pay anything for it. It's open source, which maps using reflection, right? It uses a reflection, a Java bean to another Java bean by recursively, see the word here, recursively, copying the data from one bean object to another. Also, any custom mappings can be pre-described in XML that we'll see uh, when we do a practical demonstration that how you can specify your mappings in XML or how Dozer is going to pick it up automatically for you if the property names are matching. Moreover, if property names on both objects are same like we have in our example, we have string name in entity and we have string name in DTO as well. So the property names are same so dozer is going to implicitly map for us right if the property names are different then uh, we can specify using xml that uh, if name is here then it has to be mapped to let's say customer name right so using xml we can specify that thing as well we'll see all these things in our practical demonstration how to implement dozer in create a sample application and then understand the nitty gritties of dozer and uh, I assure you that Dozer is really helpful and we have been using in our projects and uh, before uh, using Dozer I was doing uh, this kind of coding the conversion of your DTOs to entities invoking the getter setters and stuff like that so when I found Dozer I found it really helpful and uh, I definitely thought of sharing it with you all so thank you so much for watching and this uh, video of dozer hope you understood the concept of it and uh, yeah see you soon with the practical demonstration and thank you so much for watching the video again and uh, yeah take care good night bye bye